in the last chapter uh, we understood the rivers of india using map so if you have not watched that video i recommend you to watch it so that it will be beneficial for you to answer these question okay that video is also available in our playlist so student be settled and uh, we will begin this chapter now so the very first question is rivers river indus originate from which of these range okay okay these are the four options yes yes indus river is also known as sindhu river okay so it originate from which of the mountain ranges these are mountain basically okay yes tell me yes prerna yes you are right it's kalash range okay indus river originate from kalash range okay what is the glacier name yes yes you are right is bokarchu glacier it is near mansarovar lake okay coming to the next question uh, which of the following river does not originate in indian territory student this is very important question okay if you know the origin then only you can answer this question let's see one by one uh, ganga originate from gangotri as we told you in the last chapter and uh, which is in uttarakhand mahanadi uh, originates in chatisgarh dandakaranya yes satluj satluj originate uh, from again uttarakhand okay and this brahmaputra it originates from which glacier chimadangya glacier right it is in tibet so the correct answer is option c brahmaputra okay just note it down student okay coming to the next question this is very simple one which river is known as padma in bangladesh okay these are the four option yes yes rashekar you are quite now what happened just tell me the answer yes the correct answer is ganga okay when ganga river enter into bangladesh it is known as padma so may i ask you when brahmaputra enter into bangladesh what is it's known as yes it's jamuna not yamuna jamuna this one option a so the correct answer for this question is option number b ganga okay coming to the next question which river is also known as sangpo in tibet okay these are the four option yes yes the correct answer is option b brahmaputra you must have heard yarlang sangpo in tibet tibet okay when it enter into arunachal pradesh it is known as what siang or dihang okay remember na okay for those student who uh, don't know about all these river you can watch our previous chapter where we told you everything about river of india okay coming to the next question from origin to the delta the brahmaputra traverses okay again this is from the brahmaputra river question okay just tell me yes i will give you 5 second yes quickly yes rohit what happened okay okay uh, the correct answer for this question is option number c this one china india and bangladesh brahmaputra uh, putra originates in tibet which is in china then it enter into india then it enter into bangladesh okay so this is the correct answer coming to the next question what name does brahmaputra take as in discharge into bay of bengal yes yes uh, yes prerna okay anyone else yes rashekar no you are wrong okay the correct answer is option d meghna as i told you in the previous chapter 
when brahmaputra enter into bangladesh it is known as jamuna when padma and jamuna in bangladesh merges it is known as meghna okay because it is saying that is as discharge into bay of bengal okay so meghna is the correct answer coming to the next question the longest river of peninsular india okay yes peninsular you can think of south india okay yes yes you are right it's option number b godavari okay godavari is the correct answer can you uh, name the origin of river godavari yes yes you are right it's nasik yes you are right it, nasik in maharashtra coming to the next question which uh, from the following river does not originate in indian territory again yes okay 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 fine 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 coming to the next question the brahmaputra originate from which of the following glaciers i already told you in the beginning yes yes the correct answer is chima yangnang glacier it is in tibet china okay brahmaputra originate from this glacier okay gangotri ganga yamunotri yamuna okay coming to the next question the river brahmaputra is known as at it enter into arunachal pradesh yes yes i have told you several time it is known as dihang option number b dihang what happened yeah question will come uh, only brahmaputra you are saying na so you can think that brahmaputra is one of the most important river from which question can come okay coming to the next question yes this is a different one just tell me surat is located on the bank of which river student i want to tell you this question has come in septum 9 exam just try to answer it yes yes you are right it's option d tapti or tapi tapi river okay tapti is a old name current name is tapi okay so the correct answer is option d tapi where do bhagirathi and alaknanda join ganga okay yes uh, i had shown you the diagram where i told you everything about this yes which which location yes it's option c dev prayag so at dev prayag bhagirathi and alaknanda joins student who are not able to answer these question i strongly recommend uh, you to go into our watch list watch playlist and uh, you where you will find uh, rivers of india understand using map from which uh, you can answer this question okay just go and check it i hope you like that video okay the longest river of peninsular india i think this we have already seen yes godavari so godavari is the correct answer the river in india which is also known as open sewer yes yes uh, option a and b both uh, are correct okay option a and b both are correct okay so this is a doubtful question so option a is also correct option b is also correct next question kaveri water sharing is a dispute between which of the following state yes 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 anna yes anna malai yes you should know na yes the correct answer is karnatak and tamil nadu option number c is correct okay karnataka and tamil nadu coming to the next question which place is located on water divide between indus and ganga river system this is typical one uh, okay if you have studied this chapter very well then only you can answer this question yes no one 
सो द करेक्ट आंसर इज ऑप्शन सी अम्बाला ओके अम्बाला इज लोकेटेड बिटवीन इंडस एंड गंगा रिवर सिस्टम ओके कमिंग टू द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग रिवर इज नॉट ए ट्रिब्यूटरी ऑफ गंगा यस दिस इज वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग क्वेश्चन यस क्विकली क्विकली गिव द आंसर यस यस ऑप्शन ए इज द करेक्ट इंद्रावती इंद्रावती इज नॉट ट्रिब्यूट ऑफ गंगा सोन गोमती यमुना दीज आर ऑल ट्रिब्यूटरीज ऑफ गंगा रिवर ओके कमिंग टू द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग रिवर इन इंडिया हैज बिन डिक्लेयर एज अ नेशनल रिवर दिस इज वेरी सिंपल वन एवरीबडी नो गंगा इज अवर नेशनल रिवर ओके गंगा इज द करेक्ट आंसर गुवाहाटी is situated on bank of which river student these type of question where you need to answer which city is located on which river you know through maps okay in the previous chapter will be very helpful if you know the location of all this thing okay yes uh, as you have correctly said it's brahmaputra because it is a northeast city when mostly brahmaputra flows in northeast region so brahmaputra is the correct answer coming to the next question shrinagar is located on which river yes uh, again this is doubtful either it can be indus or jhelum yes jhelum is the correct answer yes coming to the next question which of the following river of india does not make a delta yes this is very interesting one yes tell me yes ganga make a delta but they are asking which of the following does not make a delta yes yes tapti doesn't make a delta what does it make then yes estuary okay so all the uh, rivers which flow from east to west okay they are not making delta they are making estuary so this ganga godavari mahanadi all flows from west to east and merges into what bay of bengal so these makes delta but narmada and tapti are only the two river which doesn't make delta they make estuaries okay this is the thing okay so nasik is situated on the bank of which river yes quickly initially i told you the answer yes you are correct option d godavari is the correct answer okay origin of uh, godavari is itself in nasik okay the longest dam in india is what and i add one more question to you on which river okay yes the longest dam is hirakud dam on which river very good mahanadi on mahanadi hirakud dam is situated longest means what is the length of the dam can anybody tell approximately yes it's 25 km okay let's go to the next question which of the following river make an estuary just now i told you what the rivers which are flowing from east to west they make estuaries okay so krishna ganga kaveri all these flow from west to east and falling into bay of bengal so the correct answer is option c narmada narmada and tapti are two river which make estuaries okay coming to the very different question an important river of indian desert okay this uh, river is present in indian desert in rajasthan what is the name of that river yes yes uh, your fluke is right it's luni okay it's luni luni is a important river in indian desert okay this luni is the correct answer this is very simple one which river is called sauro of bihar yes yes kosi is the correct answer kosi is also known as sauro of bihar why yes uh, it make lots of flood there okay because of its highly increasing water level every year okay 
दिस इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट वन विच रिवर ऑफ इंडिया इज ऑल्सो कॉल्ड वृद गंगा यस वेरी गुड द करेक्ट आंसर इज ऑप्शन बी गोदावरी ओके स्टूडेंट वो आर वॉचिंग अस ऑन यूट्यूब जस्ट नोट इट डाउन गोदावरी इज ऑल्सो नोन एज वृद गंगा एंड दक्षिण गंगा जस्ट नोट नोट इट नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग रिवर ऑफ पेनिसुलर इंडिया डज नॉट ज्वाइन इन टू अरेबियन सी यस यस कावेरी इज द करेक्ट आंसर कावेरी इज फ्लो फ्लोज फ्रॉम वेस्ट टू ईस्ट एंड इट फॉल्स इन टू बे ऑफ बेंगाल ओके ताप्ती नर्मदा एंड पेरियार दिस ऑल फ्लोज फ्रॉम east to west okay and falling into arabian sea so correct answer is option b kavi